What is the scariest real story ever? The story I am about to tell you is 100% true as it happened to me. It's probably more spooky than scary. I'll let you be the judge. Many years ago, before there were cell phones we had these things called pagers strapped to our hips. Someone would page you with their phone number and you would call them back when you got to a phone. As an on-call audio-visual technician, my pager would go off all the freaking time. Like most people who used pagers, our clients knew that if you followed up your number with a 911, that would indicate to the technician to stop what they were doing and call right away. Although I was always busy I rarely if ever got 911s. One afternoon, while I was traveling from Orlando to St. Petersburg, my pager goes off with a number I don't recognize, followed by a 911. I immediately found the first exit, pulled into a little truck stop looking outside of Plant City, and went to use the payphone. This takes maybe three minutes tops. I walk in, ask for some change and head to the wall where there are four payphones to choose from. I quickly pop my quarter in and dial the number displayed on my trusty pager. It rings, and rings, and rings, and rings. At this point, I'm a bit worried. Who would page me with a 911 and not answer their phone? It's just about then that I notice another ringing sound in addition to the one in my ear. Weird. I pull the phone from my ear and two phones over on the wall. Another pay phone is ringing, but with an incoming call. I hang up the phone I'm holding and the ringing stops on the other phone. I walk a few paces over, pick up the other phone, and look at the phone number printed above the buttons. I look at the number on my pager, I look at the number on the phone again. Except for the 911, they are identical. I kinda lose my breath for a second and then I make my way over to the girl at the counter and ask if she saw anyone use the payphone. She said I was the only person in the store in the last hour. The whole episode probably took 15 minutes, but man, I was freaked out. The hair on the back of my neck was standing straight up and I just wanted out of there. I got back in my car and went about 10 miles down the highway and came upon a scene that looked like a bomb went off. Four car pile up involving a tractor trailer hauling a load of steel that had come loose. State troopers and paramedics were just arriving. I have no idea why I got that page or from whom or what but I'm convinced that if I hadn't, I would not be alive to write this today.